Okay, I'm going to attempt to video me checking my eggs in the incubator. Today is candling day again. It's my second day candling. And we're going to check on the eggs and see if they're progressing well. There was a couple of iffy ones last time I candled them on day 7. So now it is day 14. And I'm going to see if those iffy ones are still iffy or if they've started developing or if they are just no good. So we'll see. This was my list from last time of the good eggs and the questionable eggs. You can tell which writing is mine and which is my fiance's. Anyways, so first thing I did was I unplugged my humidifier. I'm going to take out this little thing so it won't get in the way. And then I just leave this running while I'm doing this. I try not to take more than like 10, 15 minutes, but I just leave it running while I'm candling. That way it doesn't lose temperature quite as quickly and comes back up to temperature fast. Okay, okay so first thing I do is I get some egg cartons out in preparation to put the eggs in. And then I'm gonna start putting the eggs in. So this is inside the incubator before I touch them. And let's go ahead and take the eggs out and we'll start candling. So this is my handy dandy egg candling flashlight. I just put a piece of cardboard over the top and taped it on with a little hole on it. it. Seems to work okay. So it's okay for the eggs to be out of the incubator for a short period of time. Like I said, I'm only going to take about 10-15 minutes to do this. And yeah, so you could think of it like if the hen was brooding on her eggs, then she would probably be leaving them every once in a while to go get food, water, walk around, whatever. So for me to come and take them out of the incubator for a few minutes every week or so is not going to hurt them. Okay, so when you're candling these eggs, it's really important that you do it in a dark room. So what I do is I just take each egg individually into my pantry and shut the door. It works. Okay, I just got done candling and put all the eggs back in. These are the ones that need the cut. Okay, I just plugged in my humidifier. Let's see it going. Put back in there. There. So it doesn't take very long for this thing to bring it back up to what I have it set at. And I have it set at 45, so it kind of fluctuates a few percentages off of that throughout the day. And this thing automatically turns on when it's ready to go. And the heat is slowly coming back up. It should be back at 99.5 in a couple minutes. Alright, we had eight eggs that did not make the cut. And every one of the ones that was on my bad list last time are also still on my bad list this time. Only I added, I think, two, three more. So, not too bad. I kind of expected to have a few eggs that didn't make it because um, when I collected them, it was really cold. It was like minus 20, minus 30 those days. And some of the eggs got a little bit cold. And I also let them sit for about seven to eight days before I put them in the incubator instead of putting them in right away just because I didn't actually have my incubator yet. So it's not something that surprised me. We'll see how the other ones do though. I hope they do well. So here's my final count. These are my good ones. These are my bad ones. In total I had 30 eggs and eight well actually nine one of them got cracked last candling session so nine of them didn't make it out of the 30 that i collected which is not terrible anyways i'm excited to see these chicks and have them hatch and see what colors they are it's gonna be exciting okay pre-warning viewer discretion is advised these are the eggs that i 
picked out when I was candling that I think are no good based on my research. This is my first time incubating eggs. So all I can really do is hope and pray that I did this correctly. As far as I know I did and I triple checked all these eggs to make 100% sure that I thought they were not going to make the cut. So like I said, viewer's discretion advised. Now I want to test my theory and make sure I'm right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack each of these eggs into a bowl and see what's inside. And I might throw up because they might stink. But usually I'm pretty good with smells, so I should be okay. But I just want to make sure that I'm correct that these eggs are no good. So I know for next time. Okay, so the first one wasn't gross. This was egg number 16. So it looks like it's just an infertile yolk or infertile egg and nothing came of it. So that's that one. Okay, egg number 17, same story, just another infertile egg. Put her in the pot. Egg number 15, same again, infertile egg. Hands, I got ink on them when I was writing stuff down. All right, egg number nine. Looks like an embryo kind of tried to grow in the very beginning stages, very, very beginning, but died. And this one's got a bit of a smell to it. You can see how it's kind of a different color. It's brown. Ew. Right. Egg number 10. Had a little embryo in it. You can see here that it was a little chick. You can tell by the uh, size of it that it's really young and it died, I don't know, probably about five days ago I'm gonna guess. But you can see the little eyes and the little like feather indents of where the feathers were going to come in and you can see his little wings and his little feet but you can just tell by the um color of that that he definitely wasn't alive he wasn't gonna make it sad Egg number 11, again, just another infertile egg, and I got egg juice all over me. Yay. Okay, so I just hatched another egg into my bowl. Got another little embryo. You can see his little eyes and his beak. This one had feathers on it. Yeah, little feathers and a little beak. I feel kind of bad because I'm not really sure if I should have cracked this one. I don't know like how far along this chicken would have been, but it looks close to a 14 dayer. I don't know. I think I made a mistake on this one. I feel really bad. Aww. I'm sad. But I guess how do you learn, right? Okay, so we'll know that this egg, next time, that looks like this, maybe is still viable. The thing is, you can't leave a, a rotten egg in your incubator because it'll blow up and it'll get bacteria all over the rest of the eggs and make them sick, so. Yeah. Okay, last egg. This one you can tell, it's got the yolk here. And this is like kind of the formation maybe of an embryo that was starting in very early gestation but did not quite start developing so yeah that's kind of what it looked like from the inside of the egg I wish I could have taken a better video to show you guys but the inside of that egg was very clear there was no blood vessels it was just very um, translucent almost yeah